As banks around the country report their earnings and grapple with the fallout from a banking crisis, the impact of the deposit drawdown on Main Street is becoming more apparent. Two months ago, a banking crisis erupted, sending shockwaves across the U.S. economy. Now, while the money pipeline to Wall Street remains intact, the situation on Main Street is much more precarious. Citigroup global economist Robert Sokin asserts that the banking stress that occurred was able to be stabilized by the end of March, and was contained at a limit set of banks. JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America were able to sustain less of a hit, while smaller counterparts such as First Republic are facing a tougher slog and a fight for survival. As reported by the Federal Reserve in their periodic Beige Book report, lending and demand for loans have generally declined and standards tightened while consumer spending trends remain mostly positive. When the Commerce Department releases their initial estimate of gross domestic product gains for the first quarter of the year, it is expected to reveal an increase of 2%. However, any positives have been stunted by the recent Federal Reserve interest rate hike and constraints on small bank lending that have directly impacted Main Street. First Republic reported losses of more than 40%, and according to the Dow Jones estimates, a thaw in consumer savings rates from 13.4% in 2021 to 4.6% during the month of February. Coupled with the rising credit card delinquency rate and balances, further obstacles to small business owners in the form of tighter credit standards and increased likelihood of tougher regulation, the outlook for economic growth in this period is an uncertain one. But even as the probability of recession looms, economists like Stephen Blitz believe any downturn will be short-lived and mild in comparison to the 2008-2009 recession, citing potential strength in consumer spending, excess savings, and surprisingly resilient labor markets. The longer-term forecast is still unclear. But after months of uncertainty, it appears the banking crisis that weighed on the economy was not as destructive as originally thought. It still poses significant obstacles, but the outlook may not be as grim as some feared. For now, the resilience of the U.S. economy will be tested in the weeks and months ahead.